Okay, good going. I've washed up my paint brushes and tidied up my table a little bit. And I've started to get the next bits ready that I will need. So I'm going to do some heart-shaped flowers on my bunch of flowers on my card. And to make those, there are some outlines that have been drawn for you. And we have to do a really careful thing because the heart is a mirror image or a reflection on both sides. And so we can cut it more easily if we fold it down the middle. I'm going to fold mine down the middle. And then cut around the shape. And I have my half of a heart, which I can open up and it becomes one of the flower heads. So I've got a few ready now. My card has been drying. Mine's not completely dry, so I'm going to be super careful not to smudge the paint. But students, you should have left yours to dry completely and it should be fine. So we're going to get the back of the petal and along the crease, a little bit of glue. You don't need to put glue on the whole flower head because it's nice when it floats up a little bit on the page. So I'm going to stick that down and the edges curl up a little bit. Okay, what colour shall I do next? I think I might have a green flower. Again, put a little bit of glue on the back. Don't need to glue the whole thing because it's nice that it curls up at the edge. And let's have my green flower head down here. Okay, okay. I always really like white flowers. I'm going to do a white flower head, glue in the middle, and be careful not to smudge. Two more very quickly. I'm going to slot that one in behind. That's a taller flower. Now, while you've been waiting for your flowers to dry, or your paint to dry, you can start to fill in the middle section. So I have done, and your teachers will show you how to do that, a picture of me and my mum at the beach. So I had to think about what's special about my mum. What do I like to do with her that is special? So I drew a picture of her and me at the beach and I've written a message. So the last thing that we can do now is put these two pieces together. And I'm gonna thread some ribbon through to tie them together and finish the card. So from the back, thread the ribbon through. And tie a bow. I did mine for my mum, but you can do one for a special grown-up in your family or for your mum. I'll lift up my camera and show the whole card. 